from my experience, from the research we do at IMD, there are three sort of main categories where I think HR can play a role, and then there are some subtopics in, inside of those categories. The first, I think, HR plays a very important role for the organization to understand sort of its context. And by this I mean, what is the unique aspect of your company? Uh, and that might be, you know, we come from a history of innovation or we're very strong in producing coming from the inside going out or we have gone through very difficult times recently. You know, certain things that has a big influence on what is your organization like now. Hopefully, you have some data that gives you these answers. But I think you as an HR professional, you shall understand this and you should be a very good student of context, so to understand where your organization comes from. I think that's one big and important category. I think also it's very important if you move to approach, you know, what kind of approach do you take to develop your organization or even transform your organization? And then I think if you understand your unique sort of DNA of your organization, you know best what shall be done to realize what you want to accomplish. And of course, you know, to sort of realize what you want to accomplish, you need to understand the trends, you need to be part of defining the ambition for the organization. But very importantly, when you shall do it, the approach you take must be dependent on who you are as an organization and your aim. And I think HR is a very important role to play. Then I think within that, I think HR shall be very, very much into working with leadership because leadership is our research shows, my personal experience shows, it's the biggest driver for the performance of an organization and it's by far the biggest driver for the culture of an organization. And if you just look at what companies do people want to work for, it's very much defined by the culture, whether it's a nice place to work, an energetic place to work, a place where people feel motivated and engaged. So I think the first one is context. So be good student of context, understand your own organization, and make sure that people around you in important positions share that interest and that understanding. Second, on the base of you understanding the context and where you want to go, Pick the actions, the few things to drive that will make it happen. And within that, make sure you give priority to leadership because leadership is, again, the biggest driver for leadership and culture. Then thirdly, there is a category of how do you track impact? How do you actually make sure that you're getting somewhere? You know, and there's a lot of talk about organizations transforming today. You don't transform over a month, over a quarter, or even over a year. It takes a lot of time. So you need to make sure that you actually keep track and measure so that you know what things are actually happening. Because by measuring, you will be able to learn and do things even better. And by measuring, you will sort of get energy from the impact that you see that you're getting. And thereby, you can run for longer. And many people say you cannot measure stuff in HR. And I agree to a degree. I don't think you can measure everything, but there's a heck of a lot you can measure, and you need to go after that. Otherwise, you won't succeed.